I'm Scott Bixley. I'm Jan Minen. We're here in uh, Southland. We milk 350 cows on 142 hectares. We're seasonal supply. We calve really late because of our really heavy soils and wet conditions down here. Used to our overseas European uh, farming systems, indoor settings, band systems. Uh, through the years, yeah, we did a lot of grazing as well, plus indoor. A big reason for going for a structure like this, with Smart Shouters, was this, just the sheer size of it. So we've got the ability to use it like a feed pad. When it starts getting wet, we can put all 300 odd cows that we'd be milking in May in here, and they're still going to be nice and warm. Let's give them some baleage, get them out of the rain, carry on. Yeah, so we started this shed in Southland in May, or we started the site works in May. Uh, the first pole went in the ground, I think, on the 10th of June, and we put cows in here on the 10th of August, so built it right through the heart of winter, and it's been absolutely amazing. We haven't had any milk fever, haven't had any dead calves. We're leaving the calves on the cows for a minimum of 24 hours, so that gold colostrum feed's been done by mum. Um, calves are in the shed, they're ready to go, running around saving Marie, my wife, a huge amount of time in the car sheds. So cows are healthy and happy. They lost their winter coats within a week of being in here. So it's been really good. Aerating in here is an absolute breeze. There's no poles anywhere. The roof's nice and high. The tractor's not gonna have anything for staff. It's gonna be nice and easy. Pull the rivers through once a day anyway, every day. Keep it clean, the bedding, and it will help dry out with the wind coming through the shed. Keeps the positive bugs in here. Keeps the mastitis away. Especially for freshly calf cows or calving cows in loose housing system like this is far better than in a cubicle. Just that it won't get stuck and you just got more room to calf and uh, pretty happy in here anyway. So we're currently doing about 520 milk solids a cow with a late calving on a wet farm. So the plan is to put a second shed up, um, calve first of August, get those days in milk up to 300 and, and aiming closer to 600 milk solids a cow. When the weather turns to shed early May, normally we'll probably put them in at evenings maybe. This is going to be a hell of an asset for us. Keep them warm, keep them dry, almost reset them because when these sort of bigger cows get hungry, they take some filling up. So being able to stop the production losses too in May and trying to keep that production heading into June will be a huge benefit to the farm. So in May we can be ticking along at around 1.8, uh, get a weather event, we can easily drop to 1.5, 1.4 and later on in lactation, it's really hard to get them back up again. So having this, we should be able to hold them nicely, keep them full, keep them warm. The building process has been great. Like two months, we've gone from a paddock to cows inside and calving. So yeah, we'd um, be recommending smart shelters to others. It's a good, well-built structure.